missing horribly. It's awesome having uh, crappy BAB and no bonuses to hit. Holy shit. Nice. Two attacks? I have five BAB. Oh, okay. And I crit on the crit. Well, it doesn't matter. The first hit would have killed it. Yeah, but I'm going to kill the one right above it, too. Yeah, you you got you to gotta count the damage. You got to know how good you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to make it ride, man. Okay. Yeah, I didn't confirm, but it's still the crit plus max damage. is 86 plus 32. Well, if you have an unconfirmed double crit, isn't that just triple max damage? No, because each crit is max damage, and he's got two crits. Just insta cleave to one of them and kill. He did stand by it. He kills two around. Yep. He killed two this round. Yeah, two around. You could technically kill four around if he hits. He just didn't hit with the first one. Hey, I'm happy. I got my crit. You did. That's it for okay. me. Okay, then we're into Titus. Um, move. Swift, intimidate, then attack. Uh, it's probably a miss and attack. Uh, what's I always forget what the issue is when it comes to attacking. Is that a percentile or something? When you attack someone who's swallowed whole? Yeah. You do half damage to them and half damage to the person inside. Oh, yeah. so I've got to knock them both. Titus is good about stabbing people in the stomachs. Uh... So, um, do I just want to, okay, yeah, um, we're going to, we're going to make that, we're going to make that a crit. No, no, the owl's not there yet. Hold on, wait for the, the, the owl's not there. Hold on. Maybe I should have done it and use a, uh, uh... Mind thrust or something. Uh, what is that damage? Um, thirty-five plus nine is forty. Thirty plus nine is thirty-nine plus six, forty-five. 30, Eighty points. Each of you take forty. Is that the third or the fourth time that Titus is cutting someone swallowed out? I, I would just like to state for the record that the gibbering mother has more hit points than yours. <laughs> I just have to make I sure did, right? I don't <laughs> kill him too badly so that Yura survives. That's the goal here. That is an excellent goal. Are you done? Uh, Swift, I don't have any... That was the move standard. Yeah, that's that's it. I think Titus qualifies for the Mad Surgeon and Prestige class at this point. Okay, well, Yuris now take one point of con damage. As the uh, mouther begins to digest him, that's okay. I'll get you out quickly. Uh, l let me do it. Let me. Yeah, do but it. he's now unconscious. Why am I unconscious? <laughs> I have an odd constitution score. Oh, you have an odd constitution? I think you remember, had a belt that fixed all no, that. Remember, I yeah, I want that belt. It's not here yet. I had to order it. Oh, okay. Well, it's fortunate for you that I rolled a, a one on my d4 then. Yeah, the it's power of odd yeah. attributes. That's one of those things that comes up a lot is when you have an odd score taking one point and it means nothing. Okay, so then the other mother will move up. There's another one? Titus, deal with that one. I'll save yours. Uh, then I will hawk a loogie at Chua. It's okay, oh, I got I it. I forgot to hide. You couldn't hide. You used all your actions. Yeah, that's true. Uh, 23 uh, for a touch AC. That hits. 
So you can roll a fortitude save. What's the DC? DC for the fortitude save is 20. Okay, I'll add my half character level once a day. So that would be plus three on this shit. And you can roll your gibbering save if you haven't. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Ah, this is going to suck. Um... Seriously? What's the DC on the will save? Only 15. The will save is 15. Oh, okay, good. So I'm blinded, I guess. You are blind. Sucks. How long? Way longer than Eurus is denied con. Um, I think I can still save him, but it's going to be a bit tricky. So, blind tiny dragon. That should be interesting. And then we're yeah, on Eurus. I... I slightly regret using my last luck to make that a crit. I, so, I can save him. So I have to make grapple tricks to get out, or how does that work again? Uh, you were inside, so you have to deal with the swallowed hole rules. You have to cut your way out from the inside. He sees a blade that probably pierced him a little. Can he be pulled out by holding onto my sword in my next attack? Can I, like, uh, attack it from inside? Like, does that damage it, or does it only count towards cutting myself out? I think you can only cut yourself out. Can I grapple check to get out? No, because you have to cut a hole to get out. Uh, I can't really do that. Um, I assume I can't use a two-handed weapon for that. Nope. You don't have a dagger? I have a dagger, but it's not magical. And this thing has DR10 bludgeoning. That's fair. Wait, does it have it in the gut? or Because it's not attacking it, right? It's only attacking the gut to get out. No, his whole body is DR. Okay. Are you sure? I thought you could grapple to get out. Nope. I'll get you out, don't worry. What's the what's the spellcraft check to cast while you're swallowed whole? That would be probably something like grappled or pinned. I'm going to look dude, that up. I, because I dude, do have I'm a pretty going good to get you check. out for sure. Okay. I will well, get you wait, out. Wait until your turn to do that. And there's no reason not to hedge my bets here. Yeah, there's no reason not to get out if you can get out. Uh, grapple, 15 plus spell level. That, that doesn't seem very high at all. All right, well, I'll, I'll do that. This is a second level spell, so it's DC 17. Um, I will use Animal Affinity to give myself plus four constitution. Hmm, that's a good idea. Yeah, for a swallowed hole, it gets half its natural armor bonus from the inside. That's the turn. Okay. So Eurus lives for one more round. And then we're on to the slashers. <laughs> so one crit. Not confirmed, so 10 points from the Slasher Claw. And I think that's all of the Slashers, so then we're back to initiative. All right, you got that guy over there, Chua? Yeah, I, I got it. Luckily, 
Titus almost killed it, so now I can handle it. Oh, did the thingy attack? Thingy? The gibber? Yeah, yeah the gi no, gibber. It oh, it didn't. Okay, sorry. It'll attack uh, Titus. Weird, but okay. Oh, yeah. Do you mind rolling that intimidate check since I rolled a 21? If you don't oh, mind. Yeah, I can do that. But at the very least, one hits with that crit threat. Unless it fails. Uh, he gets seven and two, so nine. Yeah, so you can all you can grapple your way out of something's stomach. You just go back to its mouth, so you you were no longer swallowed whole, but you're still grappled. Um, but oh, also, you, uh, it's the swallow hole in the monster manual. But also, when it swallows you, it does bite damage. So that's interesting. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. I don't know. I don't Good even remember what its bite damage is. Well, that's the D6 plus 4. Ah, same damage uh, for Lex, but it's D8 plus 2. Max damage is still 10. Okay, so what's your AC, Titus? Um, I'll miss except for the crit threat. Okay. Crit on the crit. Yep. And a hit. Did he want to luck that? Uh, probably. Most definitely. Why not? Did you want to luck that? Nineteenth, <laughs> not a hit though. It is not. Three so max damage. Triple crit. So thirty points of damage. Nice. And then you can roll your grapple check. Seventeen, that's pretty poor. Come on, Titus. Nice. Aw. Would have been awesome if he'd swallowed both of you. <laughs> yeah, that's hey, I can rescue you. <laughs> I'm here to save you. <laughs> now this is gonna hurt. <laughs> How did you get up to 21 hit points? That gave myself constitution, remember? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, then we're on to Chua. Okay, so I'm going to ask Pink to point for me the general location of this gibber and or Uris. It doesn't really matter. And he's gonna, I'm going to... He's going to point it out to you so that you can see it? No, just like direct me because I'm going to breathe fire in his direction. So I breathe fire at this thing. So you're blindly and, breathing fire in that direction? Yeah, into here. It's a large thing, and I'm tiny, so I fly close to it and breathe fire. Okay. And I add my um, inspiration to the damage. 13 fire damage. He can half the dice with the DC 13 reflex. Okay, Doesn't he, he half, half all of it? You're doing it's the same damage, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, no, the inspiration is on top of regular damage. It's like separate thing. Can you add inspiration to your it, it doesn't. You know what? It doesn't matter. It kills him anyway. Mm, no, it doesn't. Oh, he's at zero. Okay. Um, well, in, adi in addition to that, can you add your inspiration to your breath weapon? Uh, it says attack and damage rolls. It's a damage roll. Yeah, but generally attack and damage rolls are attacks that you roll, not uh, area of effect things like spells. There's lots of things that you get plus one to hit and damage on for attack and damage, but they don't count for spells. Mm, I don't know. I've been doing it for a while now. Like, it's not a new thing that I'm doing this. 
uh, well, it might not be a new thing uh, today, but it's a fairly new thing because you've only used your breath weapon like six times in seven levels. And right, and almost today, every time I actually added inspiration to it because the damage is shit otherwise. I realize that, but I'm also pretty certain that <laughs> you've never used your fire breath before because it's so useless. You always do sleep. No, I used it a few times. There were times you used that it, I needed it. You've used it a few times today, but before today, I don't recall you using it very much. I, I used it before today as well. Rarely, but I it did It says use it. before making an attack roll, comma, damage roll, comma, or saving throw, comma, you can spend one inspiration point to gain a competence bonus on the roll equal to your intelligence modifier. Fair enough. Okay. Um, so what happens to this thing? Is it taking six Sounds damage or how? Six many? damage. Okay, Take so it's <clears throat> okay. So it's staggered. I'm going to attempt to shoot at it blindly, so I have a total concealment miss chance, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's see if I even hit it. I'll I'm using what acid splash. You... Acid splash. Ah, wait, wait. Acid splash doesn't work on it. Stop, stop. I have another one. Um. Exactly for this purpose. Talents, finger of fire. There we go. I'm using that. Okay. Um, How many talents do you have? Uh, two, two, two. I have detect psionics, acid splash, finger of fire, and contact. That's like the, the equivalent four. of. The... No, I, I just wanted to know what the number was. I... Oh, okay. Four. You just always seem to have the talent that you need for the situation that you have. Ah, uh, no, no, they're listed on my um, what's called character sheet. Here we go. <clears throat> um, anyhow, I hit it. So it takes six more points of damage, and now it finally dies. Blind dragon for the win. Yours is free. I'm done. Okay, then we're on to Lex. Did you get your 10 points last round, Lex? I was wondering if that was mine, but you then you jumped into Titus and I forgot to ask. Yeah, it was your six attacks when one of them was a critical. I attacked the one in the back. I even went back and pointed out that yours was still 10 because it's d8 plus 2 instead of d4 plus 6. That you is go, girl. Horse shit. You're my hero. That's it for me. Roll one twice. Yeah, imagine doing that as your primary attack in the round that your master needs you to save his life. Your one action in the combat was to roll two ones. <laughs> Gotta love it. That's what happens when you rely on slave labor. That is true. And then just shy of the damage. And then I totally forgot that they're also plus two because they're flanking you. Twenty nine's a hit. Yep. Ha, no false life hit points left now. And you didn't kill even one that round with three attacks. I'll make up for it next round. I have confidence. Yeah, next round when the gibbering mother moves up on him. Uh, 
Okay, yours, your go. So what do I have to do to get out of the dead thing? Um, I don't know. I don't think it requires any specific action once it's dead. Because so it's amorphous, just... I would guess that it's just goo on the ground and you can just stand up. Like, if you're inside an Udiog, you have to get out of it still. So I just have to stand up as a move action? Yeah, you can stand up. Uh, give me a acrobatics check. Uh, uh... Okay, so you're good. I will move over here. That's my turn. Interesting place you moved to. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Okay. How late did you guys want to go today? I think we established it was two hours after is what Springer agreed to. Yeah, four o'clock is probably where I need to call it. Okay, I just wanted to uh, know up front. Okay, Titus, you're up. I'll move, then charge. I'll take the elbow from one of the slashers. Okay. Dang, I was hoping for a bit more damage. You hit like a girl. Rude. Um, this one I could do an acid splash on, so yeah, I'll try that. I'm going to pretend I know what my dex is. Okay. Do they have any acid issues? The slashers do not. The slashers are just bags of hit points with knives. Nice. Um, that's my turn. I've already rolled a save for the that matter. Okay. So he'll move up to there, and he'll hawk a loogie on Titus. Rude. Eighteen. That hits. Eight points of acid damage to the face. Roll your save. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. I'm going to use my Ford buff for this. Or the one, the half level to save for this. I love when we get to the end and nobody has any abilities left. Hmm. I see. Quite. I'm blind. Eurus running on borrowed time. Lex surrounded. Chua and Titus blind. And the band plays on. Okay, then we are back to initiative. Oh, baby. Okay, Blind Chewie, you're up first. Uh, yours is right next to me, right? Uh, I'm going to give him a heal. My last heal for the day, so take 18 hit points. 
Uh, and I'm going to carefully fly closer to here, and that would probably be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, then we're into the slashers. Oh, there's only one left. <coughs> Lex is definitely not going to kill two of them around now. <laughs> that just means I'll have to kill them all through in one round. And them all through in the slasher, I'll do two in one round. I'm going to get those Thunderlands crits. Ah, that's unfortunate. And then, oh, did I roll amazing for the Mouther too? I didn't even notice that. I thought he was way down at the bottom. Okay. Well, then now it's time to eat Lex. Oh, that's unfortunate. And we will hawk a loogie at Eurus. I don't like loogies. 17 touch? It is one shot. One shot? Okay, well then he'll luck it up. Don't do that. See, you just had to say no. It missed. <laughs> I don't want to lie. I, I love Sean. He's always like, don't forget your prayer. Oh, yeah. And you, you're you blind, so you get plus four. I, I feel dishonest if I lie via mission. No, oh. I, I do like that. I appreciate it. And I am blind. So we have three of the four players are blind. And only the mage left to fight. Okay. It's fine. Eurus, you're up. It's okay, I know where he's at. I'll uh, I'll move up and use my swift action to ignore concealment, and I'll hit him. Nice. Full power attack. Oh, that's not good. I still think that's bullshit. Which, the lurk augment? The ignoring concealment being blind. I mean, it's it's an entire <laughs> ability of a class. Like, it only seems bullshit because I'm just stalled. Lurk alone is actually kind of bad. No, I don't care who gets the ability. Ignoring concealment generally means you can see through it or get around it. But when you're blind, you don't have any way of getting around it. He he reaches deep within himself, looks into his heart of hearts, and feels the, the, the opponent's. He feels the motion around. It's 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 really anime, and you, you just don't get it. It's very anime. That's because anime is stupid. <laughs> so what you're saying is that he, he senses their bloodlust, is what you're saying. You 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 need to believe in the heart of the cards. Have Have you ever read Tome of Battle, John? Ah, uh, no. I have done everything in my power for two decades to avoid that book. <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> so just what working. I'm hearing. Like, is. all of the artwork is just people posing dramatically, glowing, and then if they're attacking something, whatever they're attacking is just, like, jobbing and, like, throwing itself down or, like, just in the most awkward pose ever so that they can look cool killing them. Anyways, uh, that's my turn. Yeah, for the first ten years after the Toma battle came out, I just said no. Every person who said, can I do something for the Tome of Battle? And people always ask because they know that DMs don't like it. And it wasn't until a, a couple of people started uh, asking about specific things and I went and looked them up and I was like, ah, oh, that doesn't seem that bad. Yeah, mechanically it's really good. It's just that like the, the tone of it is a bit weird. The well, Tome of Battle is not as overpowered as people make it to be. Well, the bigger thing is... A lot of the classes in there don't get the um, iterative attacks, and by the normal rules, that's not really a disadvantage, but by mine, it's a huge disadvantage. Like, Yuris sucks if he makes two attacks. <laughs> and definitely worse than Titus by a lot. Sorry, what was that? 
I said, if I make two attacks, I'm definitely worse than Titus doing the same thing by like a lot. Oh yeah, that, that's my point. Is Titus? There's nothing special about Titus. He's just a guy with a greatsword. Wow, you're just gonna take that, Titus? I mean, I like guys with a greatsword. I don't know what I'm saying. No, there's nothing wrong with being a guy with a greatsword. <laughs> yeah, no, there's uh, nothing, uh, nothing unique or special about the fact that Titus can do a colossal amount of damage. He doesn't. He didn't take any special abilities to do it. He has a sword and he hits people with it. Yeah. And that is the equivalent of all of your powers. Let, let me ask yep. you something. Would Would you rather I use the standard action to force of will my way to not being blind anymore? I don't care what you do. <laughs> I just think it's the silliest thing, and I love it. Sorry. Um. um just, in just this situation, um, I would probably say no to it because it's acid in your eyes, and your will is not going to get rid of acid in your eyes. But, so he need, but it's the power of friendship purging the imp the impurities from his eyes so that he can yeah, see it, his close friend. Yeah, it allows him to resist the acid and open his eyes and withstand its negative effects on him. See, that's why I did ask about it, because the to the tone of it is kind of silly, but as an ability, like, if you view it as only being mundane, like, force of will type feats and not, like, being pretty broad and what it negates, then it's not really worth taking. So I, I would like to know that. Well, like I said, I don't have a problem with the powerful things. Like when you, there was some ridiculous thing you asked about. I was like, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. You use your action to get rid of it. Um, I, I like to look at it from a logical point of view. You got acid in your eyes. Your special ability to overcome being paralyzed doesn't change that. If you're paralyzed because your body's full of tranquilizers, that could be a situation where it's questionable. But if you're paralyzed because you've been turned, you're being turned to stone or whatever, then that's your magical ability to get out of it. Um, I'm not overly worried about it one way or the other because I don't think it's really that significant. If that's what you want to do, totally fine. I'm just fucking with you because I think it's funny to find loopholes in the dis description of it. Like it says any effect or condition well there's all kinds of conditions that it doesn't affect and there's no definition uh, of what an effect is i would like to be immune to the effect of gravity exactly that's what i was saying is yeah. there's there are so many things where everything or nothing falls into that category like grappled is technically a condition although in the condition summary it says grappling as opposed to grappled so that would mean grappled is not a condition. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But the, like I said, as long as it, we we can adjudicate it on a case by case basis as it comes up. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Um, if you want to pick something else, you can also do that. But uh, I think the big things that you're going to want to use it for, I'm going to be totally fine with. Yeah, it's mostly spells, but like a lot of spells that disable you don't let you take standard actions, so. It's kind of yeah, the like nauseated is just the mundane aspect of being nauseated doesn't allow you to use that ability. But I think you'll find it particularly valuable when you are being turned to stone and you've got three rounds before your character's dead, and you can just use a standard action to go, uh, I don't make the save, I just turn it off. Makes sense. And that was what I was getting at, is I think in a, um, whatchamacallit, a uh, mundane situation like this, where you got acid in your eyes, where you're blind or whatever, it's not really that significant, because it's not, if you choose to use your standard action for it, um, I would even cheesily say that you could decrease the duration by just wiping your eyes like stopping for a round and getting all the shit out of your eyes oh wait that's an op option well it would be the type of thing that i would adjudicate in the situation but nobody's ever brought it up i'm just saying there are other ways to do things i don't tell you how to deal with the situation i create the situation and let you figure your shit out it's my job as the dm to solve your solutions So the whole idea of holding your breath or putting a handkerchief over your mouth when you're being affected by a stench thing, 
that's not a rule I wrote. That's not something I came up with. That's something a player came up with. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Here's a bonus for that. And because I have ruled on it, it's now something I just do automatically. Makes sense to me. There are so many situations that could come up in game that there's no plausible way for a game designer to predict. And you can't write a rule for everything. So you have to make choices on the spot. And the real thing is just to be consistent about it. And when you guys call me out on my bullshit, we were, well, we were allowed to do that last time. I was like, oh, okay, well then I guess I already determined that it's okay. And even though I am disagreeing with myself, I go with the original judgment because I don't think it's fun to have the rules spontaneously change mid-game, whether it was a good call or not. We make a call. That's the rule. We move on. All right. And in that, we stand around and talk about it for 20 minutes. <laughs> it wouldn't be d and if you did yeah, but by, by move on, we mean we discuss it for 20 minutes. Yeah, I just meant that once we've made a decision, we, if we want to have a discussion out of game and change the actual rule, like if you're like, oh, I think putting a handkerchief over my mouth should be <clears throat> plus two, but... Holding my breath should be plus five. Well, we can discuss that later and come up with a, a way of figuring that out. But if the player is happy with the adjudication I give and no one questions it, I don't see any time, any purpose in wasting game time writing a specific rule. And that was... Where were we? We were at the mouther. So Lex is where Lex, yep. you're up. Attack the slasher. Hold on. I might actually be able to get two on this one. No, you're not. Uh, that actually came pretty damn close. But you still failed. And when we factor oh. in the one round where you killed none, your average is absolute crap now. Down to half of what you originally predicted. It was a pleasant dream while it lasted. Oh. I only did 109 damage this round. Yeah, no, I, I said that when I looked at the numbers. It's like, well, he's got 95 hit points, and you only did like 120, and the other guy's got uh, like 30 hit points right there. It tells me you're not going to do it. Okay, uh, Titus. Well, I don't know how much HP he's at, and I'm pissed, and I'm just going to five foot and swing where I saw at full power attack. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me you check declared one. it. You're doing it. Uh, I can still do it, but I just want to check if I can cast a spell first. Uh, yeah, because you still have your move and your swift action. Yeah, I just want to make sure if this... Well, I guess I could ask, but I'd... Ask what? Uh, just reading true st lesser true strike, if that... Does not get uh... rid of mischance. Oh, yes. doesn't? Well, I guess, yes, it does. From, uh, well, mischance by dice. Yeah, it oh, doesn't okay. get rid of his blindness. Okay, then yeah, I'm just doing what I said. You're not going to cast True Strike? Well, if it doesn't get rid of the blindness part, right? So. I just figured you'd want to hit, and that would give you the plus. Uh, I don't really expect to hit. Especially with a 50% mischance? Oh, I actually should roll, I guess. Uh, what? I didn't think I'd actually hit with full power attacking. And that's more than enough to kill it. That does work. Nice. Oh, uh, I, I did the 51 or above to... If it's a 1. Yeah, I saw you rolled an 86. Okay, I was looking at it. I was like, you rolled a 1. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm yeah, not over right. it. 
Yeah, sorry. It's Are just you doing one team. two as your fifty fifty? Because one would be bad. <laughs> yeah, if it says zero, it means I miss. It's just so. I don't know why I did in hindsight, but it makes me happy. Why don't you just make a percentile button that just rolls a D100? Why do you have to write a fucking macro for D100? Makes me feel special. If you want the honest answer. Okay, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> if you want the honest answer, that's why. I've used the same just roll a D100 button since I started playing on Roll20. That's fair. Although the reason for that is because of treasure and I need to be able to go ding, 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 ding a bunch of times to get the percentages for treasure. Uh, uh, for me, if, if it's one, uh, you can use the, the greater, the zero to one in some if then statements, which is helpful or like crits and whatnot. Yeah. It's, it's a different situation when you're rolling for mischance than when you're rolling treasure. Yeah. I need the number when I'm rolling treasure. But uh, I guess, you know what, why not? Uh, I, I don't know he's down, do I? So I'll just attack again. Why not? I attack the goo. And miss the goo. <laughs> I do miss. Well, That's my turn. He's down, so he, he automatically hits, right? I think I'm still swinging the air. I don't know he's on the ground, right? It just melts. It's not like it, this it's... This is eating the uh, dead mouth. Or... Yeah, I'm just swinging there. I'm like, I'm going to keep swinging until it's down. But it's liquid. I don't know when it goes down. Okay, okay well, that was a pretty intense battle. I didn't think it was going to be that challenging. Yeah, it was cool. While Titus is busy beating his dead mother, Chua with clean his eyes. Okay. Well, I think you were only blinded for one round. <coughs> okay. Someone was only blinded for one round. I think I was blinded for two. I'm not sure. One of you were one. Someone was. I rolled the D. Oh, the D four with a one was Eurus's con damage, and I think the four was somebody's blindness. I don't think I rolled well, for anyone else's blindness. You didn't roll. I was just gonna. I didn't think it would matter. Yeah, you're blinded for one round, and in one round the fight's over. I knew one mouther versus four blind players was not going to last a round. Hey, Lex was never blind. Great job, guys. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Three blind players and one useless player. Three blind mice? Well, uh... Hey, I did quite a bit of damage. I don't know what you're talking about. That's true. You did do a lot of that round. Or that, How long that whole that... fight that was, uh... I think you did the most damage of anyone. Yeah. How long does that lance last? Round a level, so it's... 10 rounds, that's it. Mm, okay. But now that I'm at 5 BAB, it's actually worth having. Yeah, the two attacks. Two attacks with it makes it uh, particularly nasty. The problem is, you have to basically be in melee combat to use it. So it's kind of a backup weapon. Well, the 20 foot reach is what's really nice about it. Yeah, but the problem with 20 foot reach is it's just like uh, when rogues do range sneak attack if you're within 30 feet as soon as you attack you're no longer within 30 feet because they'll either move away or they'll move up and either way oh well, yeah I, it, for this one it actually worked out because we we're fighting a bunch of smaller creatures so i was i could either burn a shitload of spells or just cast this one so based on the name does it do electricity damage or it does actually, force damage it, force oh. damage huh. Okay, nice. Although and you think a Thunder will... Lance would do uh, sonic damage. Yeah, you would think. And it also dispels any force effects as well. Yeah. Which is really cool when you're fighting things that have no magical abilities. All the shield effects on the Illithids have Lex pierce yep. them. and then... Yeah, I'm sure Lex wants to stand next to the Illithid and hit him. I'm sure he does too. I have no doubt on you, Lex. You got this. Lex is always the first one to move up within 20 feet of a powerful spellcaster. He is now. Alright. Let's cure some people. Um, have you looked at Sound Lance? I will what? after this. Sound Lance is vastly superior. It's only, it's only one target, but it does D8 per level. Yeah, and it's sound damage, which no, nothing can resist pretty much. 
It's the thing right. that I fuck up parties with all the time. All right, you're a 63 back. Yeah. <clears throat> 